Hey there now. Up here. Hey. How's it going? Good deal. Good. I just want to ask how you felt out there. Uh, you looked like you were pretty comfortable. Just your thoughts on how you felt. Yeah, it's nice to get back out on the ice and skate with the guys um, and go from there. Uh, now, when it comes in terms of your injury, if if it was playoffs when you got hurt, would you have been able to get it out or was this a thing that you thought, okay, there's four games left, let's get it healthy and move on to the playoffs? I'm not sure. <laughs> not sure. Sorry. I can't answer any more than that. All right. Uh, and just a thoughts on, on the series against the Kings, I guess. What are you guys expecting from them? You guys know them pretty well. Um, what are you expecting from the battle? Yeah, they're uh, a really good team. Uh, check really well, play play really all three zones uh, the right way. So it's going to be a, a very tough test for us and um, also have a, a lot of skills, and a, lot, a lot of skill and a lot of players that uh, can make you pay if you give them time and space. So it's, uh, it'll be a challenge right off the, right off the hop, but, um, you know, maybe uh, – you know, it'll be a lot of fun to, to jump into it. What kind of lessons do you learn from the last two playoff series? You guys went in as favorites against Chicago. You know, obviously didn't go your way. You went in as favorites against Winnipeg, didn't go your way. What kind of lessons do you take from those two series going into this one as favorites? Yeah, obviously. Um, the games are so tight. Every play matters. Every shift matters. Uh, you know, there's going to be momentum swings. There's going to be ups and downs. Um, but to, to stay even killing and find a way to, to get through through those highs and those lows. Um, and, and for us as a team, I think we've been through, like you say, a couple, couple postseason experiences in the last two years where we left here very unsatisfied. Um, and it, it's on us to you know, come out here and put out the right effort, and, and hopefully you know, that effort gets us the results. Thanks. Zarno, just, just to be direct, do you, do you anticipate playing tomorrow? We'll see. Um, I, I wonder about your, your former coach, Todd McClellan. What did, he, what did you learn from him? How did he help your career? Yeah, Todd was, uh, you know, obviously X's and O's wise. I think as a, a player playing in his system, he really, you know, shows you, you know, as a defenseman, as a forward, um, the way to play your position, how to do it the right way, how to, um, you know, when I came into the, the league, I was, I was everywhere. I wanted to touch every corner of the ice, every shift. Uh, and then he... Yeah, as well as Jimmy Johnson, they, they you know wanted to help me settle down my game and, and, and play it the correct way. So he's as a as a player, you know he gives you your roles and, and your system and, and outlines it for you, and it's very um, you know very direct and to the point. And there's no real gray area. And I know he hasn't been here for a couple of years now, but is it kind of neat to be able to to play against him uh, in a series? Yeah, I, absolutely. As a as a player, for sure, it's. Uh, you know, it's good, but it doesn't matter who you're playing against at this time of the year. Um, it's uh, it's just exciting to to be playing in the playoffs. And how would you, um, you know, obviously Jay is a disciple of, of Todd. How how would you compare the two coaches in terms of what they what you've learned from them and what they brought to the Oilers? Yeah, both great coaches. Both uh, coaches that have a lot of detail uh, in their systems, a lot of detail when you come to the rink and in meetings and whatnot. And um, I know Jay is um, just starting in this league, but he's he's been great so far and he's got a really bright future ahead and we're fortunate to be be playing for him. Darnell, we all you've mentioned uh, continuously details with Jay. Is he different than other coaches that way? Or does he just pick one thing and say, okay, we gotta work on that and then when that works, well, then he goes to something else. How does how does, how does that? Yeah, I mean, he, he evolves day to day. If there's you know different different games, different situations present uh, different solutions to the challenges. So um, Jay's very very good at putting those those challenges ahead of you and, and showing you a way that uh, you know to to solve them. Thank you, Darnell. Since Dave came in, and I know he runs a defense a lot. Did he have a conversation because he put you and Cody together and, and put you guys? Essentially saying here you're going to take all the toughest five on five minutes we got and you don't see as much power play time anymore So it's changed your role a little bit. How, how was that conversation? And what, what did you appreciate uh, in the communication from Dave when he told you what his new expectation was? Uh, you know, I don't know if there's a huge conversation just you know here. This is uh, the role uh, You know, we want you to play and it's a role. I, I love playing obviously it's not, uh, not as glamorous as, as getting out and playing on the PP, but uh, you know, there's it's a role that's tough, and this role is important. And um, you know, you look at teams uh, that have a lot of success; they have a good pair that, that can go out there and do it each and every night. So it's uh, it's a role that I like. What is it about Cece that you two play well together? What do you like about his? 
Yeah, Cease is, you know, he's one of those defensemen that uh, he's always in the right spot, you know, when the puck's on a stick, he's making the right plays, and, you know, uh, defensively, he, he's got a, a great mind for the game, and, you know, our, our communication's also been, been pretty good so far, so we we're uh, reading off each other well, um, but uh, this time of year, everything goes up a notch, and same has to be for us. Does a, does a team, like, you guys lose to Winnipeg last year, there's two overtime games, there's another one that's really close, there's another game you kind of blow the lead a little. Um, I don't know if you ever figure out why you lose a series or what you're short on or whatever, but do you feel like whatever it was that you didn't have a year ago, you have now? Um, you, you kind of just put that in the past, like those, those series in the past. Obviously, you, know, you want to learn, but, you know, for myself, like learning from playoff experience, you just learn how much it stinks to lose. That's that's. Simple as it as simple as it is. I mean, you, you know, every play matters. You know, everyone comes in with a lot of juice, but it's not fun to lose in this league. So, um, you know, this is a, a new challenge ahead of us. It's those series and the you know the series, especially last year, was tight. Yeah, it was a sweep, but it was tight. But that's last year. Uh, we're we're playing the LA Kings uh, this year and have a have a huge challenge ahead of us uh, again. Guys like Ken Holland just talk about, you know, trips to the plate, right? Playoff trips that you got to put yourself out there to maybe something good happens. Do you ever, you know, you haven't been around that long, but you've been around a while now. Do, you, do they get more precious as each plate appearance shows up? Yeah, it's, um, it's exciting. I think, you know, as a, as a player, as a, you know, as a team, as an organization, you want to just keep getting these chances to, to play in the playoffs. You, know, you, you see the teams that win and have success in this league. It's not from going once or twice. It's from going, you know, multiple times over over the course of a decade. You know, the teams that have gone to the playoffs for, for decades and find ways to win one or two, it's it's not something that just happens overnight. So for us, we just got to keep uh, punching our ticket and, you know, keep working to, to get that result. Darnell, uh, energy in the building. You're, you're, you know, you're partially responsible for that. You help you know, with the playlist and that sort of thing with the music. You were, you know, on the team in 17 when the fans helped pick the team up in game two, game five against San Jose, game six against Anaheim. How different is it going to be for maybe some of the guys that haven't played in front of the fans, didn't have fans the last two years for the playoffs? Is it a completely different experience for a player? Did you find it to be, it wasn't quite the same not having the fans in the building for the games? Yeah, it definitely wasn't the same. I mean, you know, obviously the guys that haven't been here before, it's going to, you know, bring them a lot of life, but also the guys that have been here before, and we haven't, uh, we haven't had that uh, the taste of the fans and, and the excitement in the building uh, in the last couple of runs. Uh, you know that we've had. It's going to be really exciting to to have everyone back and um, you know sharing the moment. It's, uh, the playoffs are special. Uh, you work, all, you know, putting a lot of hard work over the course of the season to get the opportunity to play in them, and you know it's uh, it's great when. You know the the fans also bring it too when the when the playoffs come around. So it'll be exciting for everyone. And the, like you said, the atmosphere in here is really second to none. So looking forward to that. Thank you, Darnell. I just want to ask you about your goaltender, Mike Smith. Uh, ups and downs are a natural part of being a professional athlete. Now at the start of the year, he was battling injuries, had some dips. Uh, as a teammate, watching him kind of come through that, and now playing the best hockey of the season at the right moment. Uh, what's that process? Uh, been like to you watch uh, watching firsthand? Yeah, Smitty is just a you know he's a, he's a warrior. He's a he's a battler. Every time you're you know on the rink, he's 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 bringing that emotion, that juice. You know, he's he's setting the tone in the gym, setting the tone in practice, and then the games is no. Uh, seeing him, uh, you know, have a success here late in the season. I mean, it's it's something that he deserves because he you know he works so hard for it. Uh, it's not something that just comes to him. So, as a, as a teammate, it's always. Uh, you know, it brings out the, the best in you when you're around him, and it's, uh, you know, it's great to see him clicking, especially going, uh, going into this part of the season. Thanks, Turner. No problem.